Okay, so when we, we talk about our pattern read coverage, we want to make sure that we can teach alignment, formation to the pattern tendencies, right? Receiver's out wide, he's likely to run something inside. Uh, you get two receivers together, they're likely to run some kind of crossing combination. Um, so we want them to be able to, to understand the tendency to, of the routes. You know, if number two is going, uh, it releases horizontally or releases on an out, you know number one is going to probably be running a slant, um, a curl, um, something that's in breaking, possibly a dig, a post. So we have to anticipate that when we get a, um, a horizontal release by number two. Always emphasize uh, playing on receivers, not grass. We don't want to cover grass. We want to match receivers. Um, coverage mats up to route rather than the landmark, right? So we're, we're going we're gonna to get physical um, with the receivers and get into a matchup zone with them. Makes it tougher for the receivers to adjust in pattern reads and scenarios or running option routes. Verticals are less vulnerable when we're colliding and trying to, and to, to protect our safety in the cover Z concept. Communication is key. We have to be obnoxious out on the football field. With our inside linebackers, um, our, route, our route recognition, reroute drill, um, we're looking to read, again, our inside backers are going to read two to one. Inside backers read two to one. Our outside backers are going to read one. Okay? Our outside backers read one in his release. So it's two to one here. And if we get a third receiver, it would be three, two to one for our inside backers. So we need to make sure on the snap of the ball, we're reading two. If we get a lateral release by two, we're looking for the new number two that may be breaking in. Outside linebacker, okay? Outside linebacker splitting the distance. We want to make sure that we understand if we have a, if we have a slot receiver, okay, we have a tight end here going vertical, it's not going to be the responsibility of the outside backer. But when we get a um, number two receiver that's removed from the tackle box in the slot area, we need to go and we have to check our, our cover Z technique, okay? And our cover Z technique, what we're going to do is we're going to reroute two if he, if he goes vertical. So our free safeties, when we get a slot, should check to the outside backer, check Z, check Z. And basically, that's telling the outside backer, outside backer to make sure that he gets his hands on the slot route, uh, on the slot that's running a vertical route, rather, and being physical and not allow him um, to do anything. Now, if number two goes in, then our outside backer is going to go to one right now. If our two goes out, our outside backer is going to look at number one. If number one's breaking in, we're going to look to wall that off and make number one climb over the top of us in a slant arrow combination. Okay, working ourselves out because two's not that dangerous out there on the arrow. We want to make sure we wall off that number one that's running the slot or running the slant to the inside. But priority number one is, is we're off seven yards and we get that vertical route by number two. We need to make sure we collision that and look to, uh, to end that route. Number two can never beat us inside on a, uh, a vertical route. We're going to be in big time trouble. Okay. Uh, for our, our, our defensive backs, you know, when we get two receivers, we want to keep our, we're going to peak two, okay, so we're, we're matching up because we're in third coverage. The most dangerous thing that can happen to us is, is having two vertical in our third, and in that case, we need to split the difference of the two verticals and use a divider technique as we're splitting the two verticals in those zones, 